Good evening, folks. We're starting on the left with normal energy levels at Earth, a review of the space weather causation of the 8.2 earthquake in Chile last night. We're using NASA's ISWA tool, the Folk Ring Current. As you see in these first seconds, the energy rose substantially, and by the earthquake time, the planet was in need of major equalization of potential. Focus on the red flash you see at the end of the ionospheric storm animation. Then focus on where it's located, right over the earthquake area. And according to the timestamp up top, in the same 2300 hour UTC last night as the quake occurred. We see the energy built at a planetary level and then the localized effects. Remember we had the earth facing corona hole that was to make the brief uptick in seismicity. It appears that we may have also been experiencing the reversal of the south polar magnetic field according to the Wilcox Solar Observatory at Stanford. This is one of the significant factors in our long-term work starting with the New Year's episode this year. This odd and rare pole-to-pole -pole opening may represent the reversal of that solar pole. Also note, I misspoke last night when showing this chart. I said the proton spike happened about 20 or 25 minutes before the earthquake, but I misread the chart. It happened so close to the actual time of the earthquake, I can discern no difference in the timing. Given the lack of CME impacts at this point, we look to the weaker jolts within the telemetry that have already occurred before and during the earthquake, exactly when we had expected those impacts in the first place. Since last night, the aftershocks have continued in Chile, we took a good shake in Panama as well, may take some more, and this is technically a minor uptick in Alaska. We continue to have buoys in event mode, tiny deviations all over the Pacific. Uyen system candidate number two has also occurred. An M6.5 solar flare erupted today from the incoming northern sunspots. I made fun of those sunspots in this morning's news, but they've morphed and grown all day, popping a significant coronal mass ejection as well. Since our lack of flaring and weak CME impacts for a couple of days, Storm Helen dissipated and we're without tropical storms on Earth. We now expect the development of a system soon, possibly in the western Pacific. The CME won't be geo-effective, but the spots are headed this way. Be safe, everyone.